Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Dog. こんにちは。今日は栄養バランスのとれた彩りのいいお弁当を作ります。短時間で作れるよう工夫しました。First, let's make the meat wrapped boiled eggs. To make the teriyaki sauce, combine the soy sauce, みりん、酒、and sugar. Stir the mixture thoroughly. Sprinkle any type of wheat flour on the boiled eggs and pork loin slices. This will help the meat and egg firmly stick together. Roll the pork slice around the boiled egg as shown. Fold the meat and egg to make them firmly attached. You should sprinkle a little more flour around the end of the meat so that it closes firmly. Roll the other egg with the meat as well. Sprinkle flour over the entire things and dust off any excess flour. This time, the flour will keep the meat from becoming tough and also allow it to absorb the sauce well. Next, heat a little less than one tablespoon of vegetable oil in a pan. Arrange the meat wrapped eggs in the pan. Place the closed end facing down to keep the meat from coming off. Use the curved surface of the ladle to press the meat or roll the egg to cook evenly. In some cases, the egg is wrapped in the meat completely, but since bento should be made in a short time, we are just rolling it using the easy method, leaving the sides open. When the meat is lightly browned all over, add one tablespoon of water and cover immediately. Cook on low heat for one to two minutes. The overlapping parts of the meat take time to cook, so this will help avoid undercooking the meat. Turn off the burner, remove the rolls from the pan, and place them onto a tray. The meat will become tough if it is cooked down with the sauce later. You can lightly cook the meat as shown at this point. Wipe the pan with a paper towel quickly. Add a combined teriyaki sauce. Turn on the burner, bring it to a boil, and reduce the sauce. You might think removing the meat from the pan once is unnecessary, but this step will keep the meat tender, so don't skip it. Once the sauce is slightly thickened, put the eggs back in the pan. Coat the eggs with the sauce for about 30 seconds. Gently turn the egg over so as not to peel off the meat end, and pour the sauce over the other side as well. Looks so delicious with a glossy texture. Turn off the heat and meat wrapped eggs are ready. This is a tankan citrus from Kagoshima Prefecture. Rinse the tankan and cut a thin slice off from the stem end and bottom. Keeping the tankan on the cutting board, tilt the blade tip of the knife and stab it from the side to the center of the citrus. Change the angle of the blade and stab it to the center again so that the cross section has a jagged surface. Repeat this process. Make a final cut to make the jagged edges connect. Ta da! The cross sections are beautifully decorated. Cut it in half and pack in the lunch box. You should try this method with your favorite fruit. Next, let's prepare the salad. Tear the green leaf lettuce and red leaf lettuce leaves into bite sized pieces beforehand. Using a mandolin slicer, cut the carrot into fine strips. Cut the cucumber into slightly thicker strips than the carrot. As for the new onion, cut it into very thin slices and expose it to the air for a while to release its pungent flavor. This will make it easier to eat. Add a new onion and gently mix the salad from the bottom. 
A small amount of new onion will make the salad much tastier. Fill the bento box with the salad. Put the walnuts for topping and your favorite dressing in each cup, and arrange them in the bento box. Let's make the blanched nanohana greens. Rinse the nanohana and cut them into 3 cm pieces. Place the stalk part into a pot of boiling water and cook for 20 to 30 seconds. Then add a leafy part and boil for a little less than one more minute. The stalk can be firm, so the best way to test it is to actually bite it. Quickly remove the nanohana greens and pour cold water over them to cool. This will help the greens from discoloring. Tightly squeeze out the excess water and place the greens into a bowl. Add a small amount of dashi soy sauce or menzuyu noodle soup. Lightly mix. Cover the bottom of the bento cup liner with katsuobushi bonito flakes. Place the nanohana on top. Sprinkle on half ground toasted white sesame seeds. Let's make three kinds of onigiri rice balls. Place a relatively small amount of hot steamed rice onto a sheet of plastic wrap. Sprinkle a little salt on it. Shape the rice into a bowl with plastic wrap. Then coat the onigiri with half ground sesame seeds. Sprinkle a little salt on the rice and shape another onigiri as well. You can also use your favorite ingredients and enjoy making your original onigiri. Then coat the second onigiri with crumbled toasted nori seaweed. Finally, combine the shirasu, white bait, and hot steamed rice. Shape it into a bowl. Now, you have three kinds of onigiri rice balls. Let's pack the rest of the bento box. Cover the meat wrapped egg in plastic wrap. And cut it in half. Using plastic wrap will help to keep the meat from coming off easily and get a clean cut. Place a red leaf lettuce leaf in the bento box and arrange the meat wrapped egg with the cut side facing up on top of the lettuce. Place the onigiri rice balls with shirasu white bait, toasted nori seaweed, and sesame seeds into the bento box. Finally, pack the blanched nanohana greens into the bento as well. The bonito flakes under the greens will absorb the water, so you don't have to worry about dripping. And you can also enjoy the savory umami of the bonito flakes. When making the meat wrapped eggs, you can also use packaged yakiniku sauce instead of making the teriyaki sauce. Good luck in the kitchen. Sanuki Kompira san no chikaku ni imas. Kochira Sanuki udon menkune san wa jimoto no kata ni oishii to oshirarete yatte kimashita. Haitte mimashou. Udon tama dashi tempura wa mochikairi ga dekiru sou desu yo. Tray ni mizu to osara o setto shi suki na tempura wo jibun de toru self hoshiki no udon ya san desu. Simple na take udon, zaru udon ni kuwaete おすすめの牛すじうどんなど美味しそうなメニューがありますね。ナバは牛ですね。季節の天ぷら。これとデンコンかな。デンコン。あとは何にしようかな。チクラケにします。揚げたてでサクサクして。はい、食べます。はい、
うどんが出来上がりました。あっぱいだしを注いでくれてます。はい。ナイス。薬味コーナーです。生姜と。わあ、このおネギ大好き。たっぷりかけて。これはなんか大根かな？大根らしいですね。はい、いただきます。澄んだ出汁美味しそうですね。うん。ちくわとレンコンの天ぷらです。どちらもまだカリカリっとして美味しそうですよ。うん、うん、しいうどん専用に開発されたさぬきの夢という小麦粉とあのこれで美味しいなだしの出る有機島のエビ粉を使ってるそうですそれで美味しいわけですね周りはふわっとしてるのにしっかりコシのある美味しいうどんでしたではまた